In this video, I'm going to show you how to trace your GitLab pipelines with Trace Pusher and OpenTelemetry. So the first thing we need is an image ID, and there is already a Trace Pusher image ID that is suitable for this purpose. The second thing we need is an OpenTelemetry collector. So you're going to need an OpenTelemetry collector out there in the world somewhere so that this pipeline can push its traces to the, the collector. We define some stages as usual, and then we define a before and after default script. This default before and after will wrap whatever jobs you have defined. So before every job, the before script will run, and after every job that you've written, the after script will run. So before every job, we start a timer for the subspan. We'd make a note of the start time. We also generate a unique subspan ID just for that job. In the after script, so after your job code has run, whatever it may be, we end the timer or we make a note of the end time. We calculate that subspan duration and then use trace pusher to push the span up to the collector, making sure that we give it a trace ID and a parent span ID. So those two fields are how it the, the subspan will eventually correlate back to the main span. So the second thing we need to do is introduce a new job in the preparation stage. Now, it's important that this runs as the first job in your pipeline, hence why I've put it in a stage called preparation. Here, what we're doing is generating the main trace ID, the main span ID, and starting the timer for the main trace. From there, it's really down to whatever you would normally write. So here we've got three examples of code that you would write. Build job, second build job, verify build, whatever it is that you already have in your pipeline. The point here is that we don't have to write any more code to get open telemetry tracing. That has already been handled by what you've seen. The final thing you need to add to your pipeline to make this work is a special job in the post stage, which runs at the very end of everything. As you can probably see, we are closing everything down, we're finalizing everything, we're finishing things off. We're making a note of the end time of the main trace. Remember the main trace will be the entire pipeline run. We're calculating the duration for the entire pipeline run. And then again, we're using trace pusher to push that trace up to the collector. So let's see this in action. I'm gonna make a dummy change to my pipeline. I'll commit the changes and let's just wait until that pipeline finishes running and then flick across to our back end and view the trace. Okay, so the pipeline has completed successfully. Now, if we flick over into our back end system and refresh the page, we see a new trace for our project with the uh, pipeline run ID. And if we drill into there, we of course see the full trace. So build job one, second build job and verify build. So that's how you can generate open telemetry traces from your GitLab pipelines. Now all of this code, all of these sample pipelines, uh, even trace pusher itself is completely open source and available on GitHub. All the links you need are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.